What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one of my videos. So uh, today I have my boy Arvin who's been on this channel in the past. Uh, he's actually visiting Montreal because he recently moved and uh, we decided to shoot something. It's gonna be a conversational video about summer outfits, what we've, what we've worn, what we've bought, if we've bought anything. But before that, how you been? I've been good, man. Been good? Chilling, yeah. Chilling, yeah. 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 Uh, any sort of like anything exciting since you've moved, like in terms of purchases? Have you really bought anything or have you just kind of... Uh, not too much, honestly, with COVID and everything. You just don't feel the need to buy a lot of things because yeah. you're not wearing outfits all the time. Yeah. But definitely bought a couple things at the beginning of summer, mm -hmm. but lately not as much, no. I think, I think we were kind of just talking because actually we pre-recorded this and then the fucking... <laughs> The microphone wasn't wasn't on, which <laughs> yeah. fucked us up. But anyway, we were kind of saying how uh, before when we would like go into work, you have like that desire to dress up, mm -hmm. to buy pieces to wear into work because mm -hmm. I mean you, you know you're at work the majority of your week, yeah. uh, your, your your week hours, and we were kind of just talking about how since the work from home policy, we haven't really like felt the need to shop as much mm -hmm. i know it's been like that for me and yeah, you were yeah. saying it's been like that for you as for well sure, right for sure yeah yeah, yeah. You feel kind of extra wearing a full yoji fit to the groceries <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly exactly so yeah so that's really been it man like i'm happy to have him on the channel as always uh, yeah you guys enjoy it's gonna be conversational so i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do make sure to subscribe and like and let's hop into it We're gonna start with the first piece. This jacket, and this jacket is from? Uh, Untitled New York. Untitled yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah. And were you familiar with the brand, or is it just kinda? Oh, uh, I met one of the owners from Sick. Untitled New York in New York, like super random, we just hit it off and stuff. So mm -hmm. like, yeah, he sent me a couple pieces and yeah, I love this jacket. It's like super lightweight, so it's yeah. like perfect for the summer. Uh -huh. Cause honestly, I, I hate dressing for summer and you can't really layer, especially I, long sleeve. I think, I think me and you both, right? Like, I mean, I, f I feel like the first time we kind of met, we could, we, we, I mean, we all talk about it. Like mm -hmm. even with Che, like it, it's like, it's just, so much harder to like layer and if we like enjoy wearing sort of like all black clothing i feel like it's so much harder to find what to mix your already dark like wardrobe mm -hmm. with in the summer like for me for example what i kind of started doing was adding like pops of color mm -hmm. like i'll add like like a yellow top you know or like a blue beanie and things like that just to kind of like mix it on mix it up a bit yeah. But I feel like other than that, you're literally just like either a tank top and shorts or like a black t-shirt and shorts. Yeah, you know, honestly, and yeah. Yeah, and then you had these shorts. Now these these are, these are amazing. These I feel like you're probably still wearing them now. For sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, these are CDG shorts mm -hmm. um, from Spring Summer 21. Uh, we got it. Well, Essence carried it, so and, I just yeah. got it off of Essence, obviously. Nice. Um, what do you like about them? Honestly, like in the summer, I I, I don't really like shorts to okay. be honest, but yeah. especially yeah. to like dress up. But these shorts are like have a unique cut, the asymmetrical cut. Yeah. Um, I love how it's such a wide cut that it flares out. Mm -hmm. It gives it a lot of shape, and mm -hmm. it's hard to like dress and play with shapes in the summer. So yeah. like once I saw the piece. I was like instantly, I, yeah. I need these, yeah. Do you find that like, I have a question actually, do you find that like for you, because you don't really like gravitate towards colors as much mm -hmm. during the summer, do you find that you tend to go for more like cuts and like intricate silhouettes to be able to be like, okay, I, I love this outfit in the summer, just because we mostly dress for the winters mm -hmm. and the fall and the spring. Yeah. So in the summer, do you find that like you gravitate more towards like these type of cuts and these type of like mm -hmm. silhouettes yeah. to sort of compensate the fact that you're always in all black? Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. I mean, I feel like the way I dress, it's always about the cut and silhouette. Okay, cool. Throughout the year, mm -hmm. but um, 
the cuts definitely always important yeah and um yeah, yeah i feel like in the summer i probably just like think about fabric material more okay cool just because like black is gonna be hot but it's gonna be hot, if right? i could find things that are like linen Sick. more see-through and light yeah. weight then like i'll try to find stuff like that yeah. dope 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 yeah i love that man and then uh i think the boots you had on were the uh, uh, boots that i wear every day the classic, <laughs> the classic you guys should check out uh the video that we the first video that we did i think he was wearing them uh beautiful pair man i still have to get a pair of greedies <laughs> But then bitches is expensive, bro. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so second outfit uh, was your uh, Yayan Van Edge trousers, mm -hmm. which I want you to start by because I remember when we first saw them, mm -hmm. we were both like, damn, these, I need these right yeah. now, you know? And then you ended up copping. So, so talk to me about them. Have you worn them a lot this summer? And do you like the cut? Mm -hmm. uh, considering how much I dressed up this summer, yes, I've worn it a lot. Okay, cool. It's so a perfect piece because it's like so lightweight. It's yeah. like a linen material. <laughs> um, it flows so nicely. Like if there's a little bit of breeze, it's perfect, you know, yeah. in the summer. Um, yeah, yeah, and like just the shape, the pleats are beautiful. Sick. And so I, yeah, I love yeah. them. I actually, Che convinced me to buy them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like on the fence. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it though. I was actually gonna say the trousers had a very similar silhouette with the pleats, the on plisses, right? But then I love the fact that they're super wide and open. I think like personally, I love that during the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, what fabric were they? Linen. Linen, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. If I had to wear like a specific fabric during the summer, it would definitely be linen. Those were the two outfits that Arvin chose. I mean, he had a lot more to show me, you know, I think he has these, uh, so do you actually want to show them the CCP? Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want me to like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. So these are the CCPs. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about them a little bit because you kind of had been eyeing them for a while. You were DMing me about them. Mm -hmm. And then you ended up copying in your size too. Yeah, for sure. Cause um, you're like a 15. No, no, no a 13. Your brother's guy is <laughs> US 15. No, no, size 13, size 13. But well, it's like US 15, dog. No, US 13. <laughs> but like a lot of designers only make up to US 12. In fact, so it's like sometimes you know you just gotta take out the insole and struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. What was the process like? So, okay, where'd you get them? I found them on Grailed. Grailed? Okay, cool. I've been looking for years uh -huh. for a good price uh -huh. and like a good style. Um, yeah, it's just like one of those pieces that are so unique. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. everything that like CCP does, um, it's just like, it's like buying art almost in a yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. definitely yeah. came across it, um, got a good price for it. I was like, am I must bite the bullet now if yeah, it's not oh, now oh, and you else know? Yeah, yeah yeah so that's dope did you get did you did you talk with the guy for a bit or were you kind of just like yo i know these are the ones i want and yeah like, i'm good oh uh, they were on grill for a while for so a while, okay i i kind of like bargained a little bit you okay, know yeah, try yeah, to yeah. get it i i didn't want a low ball but like you know yeah yeah you try just... to see what we could do and yeah yeah it worked out Sick. i was right away just paid him I was yeah like, perfect yeah nice um and then I guess I'll move into what I've been wearing, which is just t-shirts, bro. Like I, I like guys, like you guys see me on Instagram. I really haven't been that comp like I haven't tried to complicate or overdo it in the last couple of like months or even in the last year, because I'm just in the space where I'm like, you know what, if I'm not going anywhere, what's the, what's the need for me to shop, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that like, it's not even a, I think I've preferred investing my money somewhere else, you know, like I think I'm at a point in my life where it's like, I'm really trying to be balanced with what I have in my wardrobe because I don't really want to have stuff that I'm not getting wear out of. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's really just been like nothing that I haven't shown on this channel. I'm going to talk about a few pieces, like one of the, the one piece that I've really enjoyed wearing during the summer is my white Salvum shirt, which I'm probably going to wear tonight if, mm -hmm. if we step out. And honestly, the only reason is again, it's it's I'm someone that loves cuts and silhouettes and like something that's just simple and unique. And um, Salvem is one of those brands. The shirt that I'm talking about, the white shirt I've showcased a few times. I'll post maybe pictures somewhere here of me wearing it. But it's a beautiful shirt. It's a beautiful shirt. And one of the things that I really like personally is that I can kind of wear it with anything. And I own so many trousers. Mm -hmm. And you know how like we. Personally, we don't wear shorts that much. Mm -hmm. I, 
I definitely started wearing more shorts this summer. Yes, yeah, same. Yeah, yeah same, yeah. right? So, uh, but that shirt, one of the things that I like is that I can incorporate it with my, my shorts, I can incorporate it with my trousers. And for me, that's kind of what I'm looking for in clothing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just finding those pieces, which I kind of talk about on this channel yeah. all the time, pieces that I can Work wear. in multiple scenarios. In, exactly, yeah. you know, yeah. like, even if it's just like, hey, I'm going out for dinner, I can throw that shirt on. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm going out to see a friend, I can throw that shirt on and not feel like I'm, I'm overdoing mm -hmm. it, yeah. yeah. So that'll be one of the shirts. And then um, my Prada trousers also, I've worn a couple of times, like for dinners and stuff like that. But the unfortunate thing is that they're wool. So today it's like what 35 degrees. Yeah. It's fucking hot. So um, you know, once again, it's not gonna be a pair that I'm gonna wear all the time. But maybe for summer evenings, I'll throw it on. I think personally for me, I've kind of enjoyed wearing it way more with my Bottega boots, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually probably one of the pair of shoes that I've worn the most this summer. My boots. Anytime that I've gone out, I've probably just thrown them on, and that's been pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Like, I think, what do you think about wearing boots in the summer, for example? Honestly, yeah. boots talk, is an all that. year round thing. Like, Come I, on. Don't tell me, yo, boots are too hot for the summer. Like, I agree. Wool I agree. pants too. Sometimes yo. you just gotta grind it out and you know, you might- <laughs> Take the heat. <laughs> you might be sweaty, but it is what it is. Take At least you look heat, good, bro. you know, so. Yeah, like I, I definitely I wear agree. boots all year round. I, yeah. Yo, I agree, man, because I feel like, because then at the same, like, okay, this is the thing about menswear, right? Menswear, you're limited. Mm -hmm. Like, regardless, even if you end up pulling off a skirt, you're still going to throw on a shirt or a t-shirt at the top. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, or a tank. Yeah. Those are the three options you have. <laughs> yeah. So, honestly, allow us to have, like, wool trousers or wear boots in the summer. Because sure. really, you really don't have an option. Like, the other night, I went out to eat and I had my leather pants, my leather, yeah, I think they're the 80s, yeah, the 80s, um, I think they're jeans, jeans, mm -hmm. with my Bottega boots. Yeah. And bro, I was kind of hot, like I was like, yo, it's hot, you know? And then, but then at the same time, I was thinking about it, I was looking around me, and I'm like, everyone is in like sneakers and shorts. Yeah. And I'm like, this is so boring. And it actually makes you want to dress down, but mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, I love fashion, yeah. and I love dressing up, so why? should I feel the need to dress down because everyone else around me is dressed mm -hmm. down. Yeah, Do you yeah. ever actually find that that happens to you? Yeah, for sure. Like your environment, obviously you dress up for yourself, but you know, your environment still, um, what's a good word for that? Uh, plays a factor. Yeah, yeah, plays a factor, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> plays a factor and uh, you, you take that into consideration, you know? Word like, up. Sometimes you don't wanna stand out too much in a sense mm -hmm. where like, yeah, so yeah. I, like I, I, this summer with COVID, like everybody's just, you know, t-shirt, Nike shorts, slippers. Me. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's kind of cool. And that's why like, I feel like I kind of love like having you guys here or just meeting some of my coworkers, which you guys will probably meet later. I have so many plans for this channel with regards to like where I want to push it. Um, and it, it's, it's one of those things like what you just talked about environment and how it affects the way you dress and I've noticed it with me like just being in for example Montreal and just maybe like starting to dress down a lot more mm -hmm. you know of course in the summer yes granted it's hot so you're probably gonna just be in shorts and t-shirts mm -hmm. but I think also you become comfortable with that so then you kind of like sometimes I did find myself kind of forgetting like damn but yo I I would love to throw on a Louis Vuitton pair of jeans you know or I would love to throw on like my Bottega this mm -hmm. or whatever yeah, it is yeah. you know like Yoji whatever you yeah. name it but then you kind of start overthinking it yeah because yeah. you're kind of like where am I going who am I seeing and why is everybody staring at me yeah I mean, does that make you feel uncomfortable especially if, like because you're still like younger than me mm -hmm. like how because I, I know when I was 20, well, how old are you? 24. 24? Yeah. So when I was 24, um, I would feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, and I had to fight through that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you ever find yourself fighting through that? Oh, uh, I feel like not really anymore. Just cause like, I'm very comfortable with like what I like to wear. And like, I feel like I kind of know what style I have and like what suits me. And when I feel comfortable, I feel like I don't really care what other people think as much. Word up. Yeah. yeah so like, if I'm wearing an all black outfit in the summer, you know, maybe some crazy pants, whatever it is, 
Like if people stare, people stare, you know? It is what yeah, it is. I kind of take it as a compliment at this point. Dope. It, yeah, so yeah. kind of get used to it. I think that's nice, like that, mm -hmm. what he just said. And I, and I really do want to encourage that, you know, for anyone that's young or, or like in that age demographic or even younger, especially younger, like when you're still in high school, uh, the importance of just like, I mean, I remember I used to be laughed at for wearing like red socks, you know? And I'm like, it is what it is, man. And I know like, you know, when I was 20, 21, like it would feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, I think that like doing things that you love, like regardless of what people around you are saying or people around you are judging you and whatnot, I think pushing through that and always just believing in the fact that like, yo, I love dressing up, man. Mm -hmm. I love how the Yoji cut, I love the CDG uh, uh, shorts cut and mm -hmm. I love how it makes me feel because I feel like there is a certain feeling that you get when you put on an outfit that you really love yeah. that nobody can take away from yeah. you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right? And at right. the end of the day, it's better to stand out than to be basic. So. <laughs> it's really the truth. And I think that like, you know, regardless of where you are, you know, I know there are some people that are in smaller cities. I used to live in a small city. So did you. Mm -hmm. You also lived in mm -hmm. Ottawa. And um, I think it's, it's super important that like you push through that fear of not you know, of, of, of always wanting to, 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 to fit in. Like sometimes you just don't, man. And you mm -hmm. gotta be able to be like, you know what? I'm gonna wear whatever I wanna wear. Yeah. And if you don't like it, fast forward. If you do, thank you, but I'm mm -hmm. gonna keep pushing anyway. Yeah. You know, and I think for me personally, I've definitely always tried to encourage that, whether it's on any platform, Instagram or YouTube, I'm like, you know, like I feel like it, it just makes sense. And I think that like a lot of the times, if you're gonna do th things differently, people are gonna judge you anyway. And sometimes it can be your friends, mm -hmm. just yeah. cause they don't understand it. For sure, yeah, you know? yeah. And it's like, you outgrow them too. Like it's so yeah. good. I, uh, yeah, no matter like, well, I feel like the one thing that I realized is like, no matter how weird you are or how different you are, there's always a group of people in this world that you'll fit in with that like the same thing. You just need to find that group. You Absolutely. Know? And, but like, stay true to like what you want to do, because like eventually you'll find a group that you fit in and feel comfortable in, you know. So, I think yeah. I think we're gonna end it right there, man. <laughs> I think I think that's yeah. it. I think he, you know, Arvin came through, stole the show. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, listening to this conversation and just watching the video. I appreciate you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you, and uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. You can follow my boy on his Instagram. Still telling him to post, he just doesn't want to post. But anyway, uh, you can follow me on my Instagram, G R E G N T R E. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Damn, bro. <laughs> I, I, I think this was the best video yet. Yeah. I think this was the best conversation. Yeah. Good yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. I think this shit, but.